Hello, my friends. Only a few days have passed since the murder of XXX Tentacion. Rapper XXX Tentacion was shot and killed in South Florida Monday. TMZ first reported the shooting, and the Broward County Sheriff's Department confirmed his death on Twitter. And I must admit that this was a name that had popped up on my radar several times, in fact a lot, over the last year or so. While I do love hip-hop, I sort of wrote him off as one of the idiots in the mumble rap scene, so I never gave him the time of day because that's not really the kind of rap music that I listen to. Since he passed away, I felt intrigued or inspired or morbidly curious to look into it. Suicide, if you ever try to let go, uh, I'm sad and all, yeah, I'm sad and all, yeah. I'm pain, wanna put 10 shots in my brain I've been trippin' about some things can't change So it's all the same time, I'm tame Put your diss in, beg a phone call Tell the fella like I'm trapped in my damn mind Tell the fella like I'm rapping a damn lie Tell the fella like my life is a damn game Nigga really wanna die in the night time Nigga really wanna die in the night time What I discovered in listening to his music was that he clearly had something Just a voice soaked in sadness Like, it, it honestly kind of reminded me of like a modern day hip hop Elliot Smith for my for my white friends in the crowd. I was genuinely surprised how much I liked it. So much so that I felt the need to express it on social media. Out of that came a flood of information about this man's troubled past. This man is a very controversial figure, which brings us to now. Should we mourn this man? I got, got jumped in LA by some pussy ass niggas and they jumped me nigga nobody gave me the faith of a one-on-one -on -one, nigga nobody gave me the respect of a one-on-one -on -one, and i painted that nigga when he was on the ground if you don't like me refer me to your auntie so <laughs> i can put my dick in her throat because if y'all really think i ever gave a fuck about anything y'all be saying all right y'all gonna make me miserable you when we look into his history we clearly see a troubled soul he would get into fist fights with his fans that was you He would make outlandish statements about race and politics online. If you think that this is in support of Black Lives Matter, it's actually not. It's all lives matter. I guess there's a show, a Netflix show called Dear, Bla uh, Dear White People. Okay, I understand that racism is well, very well alive. But if we're working towards equality, we can't move forward if we're acknowledging the ignorance. The ignorance has to come to a complete halt. Therefore, we can no longer acknowledge it robbery, assault with a deadly weapon. He was once put on trial for abusing a pregnant woman. Approximately two weeks later, Onfroy allegedly slapped the victim and broke her iPhone 6 for complimenting a male friend's jewelry. On that same day, he attempted to sexually abuse her with a barbecue pitchfork and the woman passed out. In October of 2016, the couple learned that the woman was pregnant. So again, should we mourn this man? Let's take a deeper dive. Hip hop is no stranger to controversy and violence. And before I continue, none of what I'm about to say is meant to be seen as an excuse. I'm merely just trying to offer context and insight. The Fabulous was arrested and he turned himself, he turned in, himself in for aggravated assault and, and terrorist making threats. Terroristic threats. So What's going on with you and Jesus? I don't fuck with a nigga, he'll push. He might not be able to say it, but I'm gonna say it, all right? The man got some, uh, are they murder charges or attempted murder charges? Murder charges. Murder charges, straight up. So they've charged the gentleman who shot up Lil Wayne's tour bus. Does this guy have any connection to any of the beefs that it, Lil Wayne has? And the answer is yes. Now, you had mentioned there was some abuse that kind of happened between you and Dre. That's oh, I was getting dragged on the floor, shot at, yeah. Shot at? Yeah. One day we arguing, one night we was arguing, he went and got the gun, and I just made it through the bathroom door and a shot, and he shot at me and he missed me by that much. Police investigate the deadly Wilshire Boulevard ambush of notorious B.I.G. Biggest death? leaving a mark on family, friends, and the man behind the music. Just an unnameable amount of songs that degrade women, that promote violence and all of this stuff, yada, yada, yada. If you listen to hip hop, you know this. 
I mean, seriously, hip hop even has like an entire subgenre called battling, where people just insult each other and like say, I'm gonna fucking kill you, man. And, mm, and they're like, oh, that guy fucking threatened to kill him harder. Give him the award. Who took the bitch ass route? Scared that I was gonna fly mad for head to knock your bitch ass out. I got a new AR with a K that I put J in the ER so he can see why he shouldn't have forgot where he comes from. Help! Step in, get him clap. He'll be Isaiah Thomas, Detroit nigga, pissed on with 11 in his back. Now, with a lot of the examples I just gave, a lot of time has passed and those individuals have grown up more and have reflected and have even come out and said that they were wrong for what they did. In respect in the rap game at the level of Jay-Z and Nas means more than just talking the talk. It means you gotta walk the walk, which is what these two titans did in front of 20,000 fans at Jay-Z's I Declare War concert. This is for our culture, this is for hip hop, we love y'all. I had a lot of peace in my life, but you know what? Sometimes you gotta flip the script. Let's ride. Our beef happened because of a misunderstanding. You know, it was cool for us to sit down, talk to each other, and work that out as men. I've said things in the past about them that I shouldn't have said, and I admit that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I can respect Royce, you know what I'm saying? I will talk to him, because the best thing is, I would love to see your kids grow up and fight for your publishing, but I would love to see my kids grow up and fight for publishing. You know what I'm saying? That's the way I look at life. And that is what makes XXX Tentacion such an interesting case because he is never going to get that opportunity he was 20 years old i mean really think about that he couldn't even legally drink as of the recording of this video i am 29 years old and believe me when i say that i am not a perfect person when i was younger i committed crimes i sold drugs i got into fights i got the chance to grow up and reflect and change I know what I did was wrong, but that's something that this young man will never get the chance to do. So when I ask the question, should you mourn this man, obviously that's a little hyperbolic. You can feel however you want to feel about it. I would just like to end by saying that personally, I mourn the fact that he is just never going to get a chance to grow up and see the error in his ways. That is really fucking sad to me. And hip-hop as a whole really needs to fucking stop with the whole getting shot to death thing. Like it's played out as fuck. Big L, Tupac, Biggie, Chinks, fucking <laughs> too, too many fucking people. Like, it needs to fucking stop. Please. My name is Papa Cheesy. Thank you so much for listening. Until next time.